Hello and welcome back. Today we are continuing where we left off by solving word problems with trigonometry. So let's get started. You will recall we were talking about the trig ratios of sine, cosine, and tan and how we can use those ratios to find the missing side of a triangle and answer real life questions. Let's review some of what we talked about before. If you have the opposite of an angle and the hypotenuse labeled in your diagram, you can use the sine ratio to find the missing side of a triangle. If you have the adjacent side to that angle, which is right next to the angle, and the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of the triangle, then you can use those with the cosine function to find the missing side of a triangle. If you have labeled the opposite side of an angle and the adjacent side which lies right next to that angle, then you can use the tan ratio in order to find the missing side of a triangle. So, let's get started. Our scenario says that an airplane takes off at an angle of 9 degrees with the runway. What is the plane's altitude after flying a diagonal distance of 3,400 feet? So when you start drawing your diagram, you can start by um, drawing the ground, first of all. And then you know that on one side you're going to have an altitude, so you can draw um, a line perpendicular to the ground and then you can draw the hypotenuse last and then ask yourself ask yourself what do I have labeled and how can I use this in order to use the trig ratios to solve this problem so with our diagram today we have the angle of nine degrees labeled we have the side opposite of that angle labeled as X our missing altitude and we have the hypotenuse labeled as 3,400 in feet because that is the distance that the plane flew. So let's start off by writing sine since we're going to use the sine ratio to solve this. The sine of 9 degrees equals the opposite side which we have labeled as x over the hypotenuse which we have labeled as 3,000 400 feet. So, just like in algebra, we need to isolate our x, and the best way to do that is to multiply 3,400 times both sides. It will cancel out on the right, and on the left, we're going to have 3,400 times the sine of 9 degrees. But I'm rewriting that as sine of 9 degrees times 3,400. and it equals x. So now that we have our equation and the x isolated, we can go ahead and do some basic math in order to get the altitude that we're flying. So before you put anything into your calculator, make sure that you are in degree mode. And when you've done that, you can click sine 9 for 9 degrees, close the parentheses, and multiply that times 3,400, click enter, and we have 531.8. So, the plane's altitude after flying 3,400 feet, 3,400 feet, is roughly 532, since we're going to round it up, feet. And there's your answer. Okay, let's do another one. A wire from the top of the Eiffel Tower to a point on the ground makes a 23 degree angle with the ground. If the wire is 2,419 feet long, what is the height of the Eiffel Tower? Okay, you can start by drawing your little tower 
um, as the length of the side of a triangle that is opposite of a 23 degree angle and your hypotenuse will be 2419 feet or the length of that wire that's stretching from the top of the Eiffel Tower to the ground. So since we have our opposite as the missing value and our hypotenuse is 2419 we're going to go ahead and use the sine function to solve this problem. So write down sine of 23 degrees equals our unknown uh, unknown height of X over 2419 so we're going to isolate that X by multiplying both sides by 2419 it will cancel out on the right side leaving only X on the left hand side I'm going to rewrite this uh, as sine of 23 degrees times 2419 if you want to leave the 2419 first uh, that is fine but I, I like to use uh, correct mathematical notation whenever <laughs> possible and you usually would have um, the sign of the angle before what it's being multiplied by but either way is fine and in a calculator it will turn out the same way anyway so now that we have our equation and our variable is isolated let's turn on our calculators make sure we are in degree mode and not radian and then multiply the sine of 23 degrees by 2419 click the sign button put the degree in and close the parentheses and then multiply by 2419 press enter alright so we get 945.1 so it looks like the height of the Eiffel Tower at least in this scenario is 945 feet see how fun these are you can figure out anything and impress your friends too so this has been great and I have a couple more of these to put out so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video have a great day